Start by confirming the identity of the patient by looking at their wristband. You can then check that you have the right needles with the right drugs if relevant. There should be a green needle for IM injection and an orange one that may be pre-filled for subcut. You can then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Next, you will need to put on some gloves. Then, starting with the subcut injection, you need to open the needle packet and fold back any needle safety mechanism that may be there. Remove the cap of the needle and put this to the side. You can then pinch up some of the skin and inject at 90 degrees directly into the subcutaneous tissue. Put the safety mechanism over the needle and dispose of it immediately in a sharp spin. Repeat the process with an IM injection, again injecting at 90 degrees, but this time bracing the skin rather than pinching it up. Completely bury the needle and then aspirate to check that you are not in a blood vessel. Cover the needle and put it straight into a sharp spin. You can then remove your gloves and dispose of these in a clinical waste bin. Finally, finish the station by sanitizing your hands again with the seven steps of hand hygiene. Start by bracing the skin and then insert the needle to its full depth. You should feel a change in resistance that indicates you're in muscle. Pull back on the plunger to aspirate and then inject your drug. You can then withdraw the needle, cover it over and dispose of it in a sharp spin. Aspiration is not always necessary and so you can just insert the needle to its full depth. A change in resistance indicates you've reached muscle where you can just inject your drug. You can then withdraw the needle, cover it and dispose of it safely in a sharp spin. Start by pinching up some of the skin and insert this shorter needle at 90 degrees to its full depth. You can press the plunger to administer the drug and then cover the needle and dispose of it safely in the sharp spin.